Hello everyone, I'm Uwa, I'm a second year medical student at the University of Nottingham and if you're new here, hi, it would be great for you to join the gang so please do stick around and hit that subscribe button if you're a returning viewer. Thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. In this video, as you've seen from the title, I'm going to be telling you all the top secrets to write the best personal statement. Let's get into the video. Wait a minute, before we get into it, this video is very kindly sponsored by Medify. Medify is an absolutely amazing resource to help you get ready for your med school and your dentistry school applications. I will say a lot more about Medify in this video, but I'll also leave a link to their website below. Why is your personal statement so important? Why bother spending so much time writing it, perfecting it, and making such a big deal out of it? Because it's your opportunity before the med school even meets you to show off all of your achievements towards your medical application. So it's really important to have a med school personal statement that's well written and well structured to help you secure that all important interview. So let's get started with it. Before you even write down the first word, of your personal statement you're gonna want to plan it. An author wouldn't just sit down and write an entire book with no vision or idea of the final outcome so you're not gonna just sit down and write a personal statement not knowing where you actually want to go with it. Your personal statement essentially is your book, it's your story to getting into medicine. You're gonna want to take your time, plan it out and have some sort of end goal and some sort of vision you're working towards. The best way to plan it out is by using mind maps. All your ideas, everything in your mind, just blurt it out onto a page. The subsections for your mind map could be but are not limited to extracurricular activities, your hobbies, your why medicine, of course, work experience, volunteering, part-time job. At this point, you want to literally write down everything and then worry about cutting it down later. It's better to see everything that you potentially want to include and then go and snip, cut, chop, slice, whatever you want to do, do it later. Now let's talk about writing it. Something that is very important, really, really important when it comes to writing your personal statement is structure both in the way that it reads and in the way that it looks. Don't forget your basic skills that you learn from primary school and that is to write in paragraphs. It's just a lot more appealing to the reader and to the admissions tutors when you've got separate distinct paragraphs rather than one massive blurb of text. So this is just an example of how it can be structured. I mentioned about having three distinct paragraphs. Your first one will be your opening. This is gonna be your why medicine. Why do you want to study medicine? I always advise you it is personal. Talk about a personal experience if you have one. It's really important that you don't lie and don't make this up because you can get asked about this at interview. So as much as you can in this, grab their attention, but like I said, don't make it up. Make it as personal to you as you can make it. For example, do you want to study medicine because you have your own experience from the hospital? either you were in hospital under the care of the doctors and their team or were you inspired by the way the healthcare team looks after a family member for example we all have a reason why we want to study medicine this is your opportunity to finally say to someone who's actually interested pretty please in this section avoid cliches avoid stuff like I've always wanted to study medicine since I was a kid maybe you have but the chances you actually knew you wanted to go to med school when you were four or five are pretty slim. Also, please try and avoid saying that I want to study medicine because I come from a long line of doctors, everyone in my family is a doctor and I need to live up to it, or even worse, don't say I'm applying to medicine because my mum and dad want me to study medicine. No. These do not show your interest in the subject at all. Moving on to paragraph number two, the middle, the meatiest part of your personal statement. If your personal statement was a burger and the opening was the top bone, the last section is the bottom bone, the middle is going to be your juicy beef burgers topped with cheese, gherkins, tomato sauce, onions, bacon, bacon, bacon. It's going to be the bit that's really bulked up and got the most information, literally the juiciest part of your personal statement. Anyway, I digress. In this section, you want to talk about your work experience and your volunteering and other med related experiences that you have. So for example, any academic challenges you've done or competitions, any independent research, even your EPQ if you've done one can be slotted into this section. But do not just list these things. Listing is going to get you nowhere and it's of no benefit to you. It doesn't show what you've learned from these experiences and doesn't show the admission tutors reading your personal statement that you've actually got a genuine interest and you really want to study medicine. You're just listing the things you've done. Rather, in this part, you want to reflect. 
say exactly what you've learned from these experiences and how they've been useful in confirming your choice in medicine. This now is where I'm going to talk about Medify and tell you how Medify can help you write a fantastic personal statement. They've got a personal statement guide which takes you through various sections. You have a series of lessons which guides you right from starting personal statement, things you should do as you're writing personal statement, things to bear in mind and then also how to finish it off and it also allows you to check your personal statement by experts and it marks it along the official criteria that other med schools use. Some of the sections that are covered are reflecting and planning. So reflecting, like I said, is really important when talking about your work experience and any med related experiences you want to include. It gives you advice on how to write it, what to include in your introduction, your why medicine, and also your conclusions and how to finish it off. It gives you specific advice on talking about your aims and achievements. So it's really gonna help you and give you the advice that you need to show off your achievements towards applying to medical school. And finally, your last section, your final paragraph, your bottom bun, is gonna be your extracurricular activity such as your hobbies, your volunteering, part-time jobs. So by extracurricular, I mean mainly things that aren't related to medicine per se, just things you do outside of college, your application, the things that make you you. So a lot of people do volunteer to aid the application, but if you've been volunteering for a long time before you started considering applying to medicine, this is something that you'd include in this section. It's useful to include these things because it shows that you have had the opportunity to develop certain skills that need for a doctor, such as teamwork skills, communication skills, listening skills. My mind has gone a little bit blank right now. And also within this section, you're gonna want a final concluding sentence or two, really summarizing why you'd be an ideal candidate at this med school. So what is it in particular that you're willing to bring into med school and into your medical studies. So for example, is it your determination to work hard? Is it your diligence? Is it your passion? I'm not saying brag, but if you got it, flaunt it. So that's the end of the video and those are the top secrets that you really need to write the best personal statement and don't forget that Medify will push you that extra step further with their personal statement writer and checker course. I will leave a link to that below so you can go and purchase your subscription today and have a look at the other fantastic courses Medify have to offer which are really going to aid you in your med school and dentistry school application journey. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please let me know by leaving it a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me, subscribe to my channel and join the gang. Thank you once again and good luck with the applications. I will see you soon. Bye.